Hi, welcome to this code lab on AGI GPT. In this code lab, we're going to implement a utopia and create a utopia with the help of AGI GPT. And um, let's get started. So the prerequisites are we need Python 3.10. We need the open API key. And so let's do the setup for those steps. So here we've cloned the Python or the stable branch of this repo, which is AGIGPT. So if we go to GitHub Code Labs Pro Inc. slash AGIGPT, we can get this repo. And uh, I'll put a link in the description to the repo. So here we can just say git clone dash dash branch stable with the repo URL. Now I've already done that. So here I'm going to create the virtual environment. So just say Python 3 dash M venv dot venv so this creates the virtual environment now i already have this virtual environment so i can just activate it source dot venv bin activate and i can install the requirements using pip install requirements dot txt now in the repo we find this dot env template and we can make a copy to make the .env file of the template. And we can also use the, uh, take the API key that we have from open API and paste it in the .env file under open API key. So once that's done, the setup is complete and we can run AGI GPT. So to run AGI GPT, we say in our terminal python oh just double check to see the python version it's 3.11 which is higher than 3.10 so we can say python dash m uh, agi gpt now agi gpt is a fork of auto gpt so it will print some messages about auto gpt which is fine. Now, if we look at the um, definition, we can say this is going to be an entrepreneur GPT, or we can call um, the humanitarian GPT, and we can also say. Um, that the goal of the humanitarian GPT is to solve all the problems and challenges faced by humans in the 21st century. Now we have to set our goals. So we say goal number one is go online and search for all the proposed solutions to the challenges faced by humanity. Goal number two is make a list of all the challenges and come up with proposed solutions to all the problems. Goal number three is save the list of problems and their corresponding solutions in a file called solutions.txt. Goal number four is start implementing the solutions. And goal number five is terminate. So it's using the local cache here and the browser is Chrome. It's thinking at the moment. And so once it has thought about what it's doing, it's going to say, okay, I, s I think it said the first step would be to search for all the proposed solutions to the problems and challenges faced by humanity. 
and it's saying before I can start solving problems, I need to know what problems exist and what solutions have been proposed. So it came up with a plan. It said use the Google command to search for proposed solutions faced by humanity. It said uh, save the list of problems and their corresponding solutions in a file called solutions.txt. So it's, it's saying that I need to make sure that I'm just relying on the first few search results and that I'm thoroughly searching, researching each problem and proposed solution. So when it uh, pauses here, I can say yes to let it continue. And it Googled the keywords and it came up with this result so now it's thinking about the solutions so here it said that the reasoning is that I before I can solve problems I need to know what problems exist and now it's also asking to authorize the command which is It didn't do a command. So now it's thinking. So let's wait for a few seconds. Okay, so it came back with, I will extract the problem and propose solutions from the search results and save them in a file. To do this, I'll use the write to file command. Now it has come up with a plan, which is extract the problems and propose solutions from the search results. Use the write to file command to save the list of problems and the corresponding solutions. So it needs to make sure that the information is accurate and relevant. I also need to make sure that the file is properly formatted and easy to read. So the next action that it came up with, it seems to have this list prepared. So if we take a look at what it's come up with so far, seems to have something about unemployment, something about land use, something about the future of nuclear energy, something about population, something about the environment, something about infectious diseases, something about biodiversity, something about malnutrition, something about natural disasters, something about improving education, something about improving healthcare, something about improving transportation, something about improving communication, and it also has a list of solutions. So here now the next action here is start the solutions agent. So it's asking for authorization, so I say yes. So it seems to have done a pretty good job of coming up with the uh, problems and proposals. And here it's come up with a start agent command. Now I'm going to leave this running for a bit and I'll uh, update the results in the next part of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in part two.